Mentioning an angle, you should have something called a protractor. This is a protractor. But also, we have the smaller one. This is called a protractor. By using this a protractor, you may measure an angle. And also, you cannot measure an angle without using a ruler. You should have a ruler. Now, how this form? Example, I want to measure an angle of 80 degrees. 80 degrees. Very simple. First of all, you draw your line. A straight line. Make sure that it is a straight line. Make sure that it is a straight line. Now, this is my line. No matter whether you draw this way or this way, or this way, that is not a problem. What we need is a straight line. Hai kia mishita uta ichora hii. Uta ichora hii. Uta ichora hii mstari wao. Lakini tunachokitari sisi ni mstari uyo nyoka peke yake. So don't get a claim that my straight line must be this way. My straight line must be, no, 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 no. You choose. Example for me, let me decide to choose this one. This is my straight line. Do I am, have you understood me? Yes. First of all, you draw the straight line in, way, in whatever the direction you need. Whether this way, or this way, or this way. Then the second thing, you choose the vertex points. You are the one who may choose the vertex points. You choose what? Vertex points. Now, you can choose wherever you like. You may choose here, here, here. Let me decide to choose it here. This is my vertex point. Your vertex point it is a place where you will put things. The point of intersection of these lines. Because there is a point of intersection. If now you have the protractor, you will find that point. It is where now you put that point of intersection. Here. Come on, let me have a protractor here. Here you go. My name is Kakuta from Mr. Seven of Finding. This is a protractor. This is a protractor. Utakuta kuna maala zimekutana hapa. Hapa kwenye pala mbao mstari huu mekutana huu mstari. Hapo ndo na unapolaza protekta yako inalara hapo kwenye vertex point. Now this is the normal protekta that you use. If now you use in the small protekta that we use on the extra school, you will find this line. This line and this line. So this point where this line is intersecting, it is where now you put it on the budget point that you have chosen. Simply because an angle is formed after the intersection of the two lines. So at the intersection point, we call it budget. Kwa sababu intersection point ita nini? Budget. It is where now we can say so. So, after that, I have told Na weka line yangu, na mna hii. Making sure this line inaendana na hii ye, mstari ni ochola. Make sure that this line goes together you put this line on the line that you have drawn. Don't reach out, don't put it out of that line that you have drawn. How do we do it? Now this is the way you do it. Then you put it here. You may see this line goes with this line. Then you start counting from zero. Notice from 180. Usiandini amoni na temanini tafadhali. 
Na ndio maana prophet inaandikwa pande zote mbili. Maana yake inaandikwa kuanzia huku na kuanzia huku. Kama uta decide kuanzia huku anda kwenye zero. Kama uta decide kuanzia huku utaikuta zero. Sasa naiangalia 8. I am looking for 8 degree. Then 8 is somewhere here. From 0 to 8. Then you put your point. Put only the points to match 8. This is the point. Then you that the point. Take your ruler and join that point. Join it to the point of buckets that you have chosen. And that is very important for you. That is why it is very important for you to choose the buckets. Then by joining so, we have this line. Join that point that you have obtained. After you have marked the 8 degree, then you join them. You join it to the point of buckets. This is how I do. Then this is an angle. Don't think about this one. Why? Because we counted. We have counted from this line and not from this line. So this is an angle that we're talking about. This is 8 degree. If now you think of 50 degree, 50 degree, you think of 50 degree, the same applies. You should draw. You should draw a straight line. This is my straight line. Then choose the market points. Now let me choose it here. Then as I say, line your protector following the straight line that you have chosen. You have chosen. But make sure that this point must be marked in your mind. Now you get away from this point, you have nothing in your head. So what better, you have to choose the vertex point. After you have chosen the vertex point and you have the straight line, then you lie down it. Lie, lie your protector on that line. But by following the principle that this vertex point lies on the vertex point of, on the protector. Kwale mahala ngapo kuna vertex, na huku kuna vertex. This is the vertex point. Now, lie down your protector. This is the way I do. Making sure that this line, this line passes through this point also. Now we're talking about 50 degrees. Now you start counting from zero. Don't think about 180. Please, I beg of you, my friend. Start from zero. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Put only the point at the mark of 50. Point only is enough. This is a point. This point has marked on 50 degrees. But I want to join this 50 point, this, this point to the point of vertex. So as I may form an angle. Because what I know, an angle is formed after the intersection of the two lines. And the line is formed after you have joined two points. Now after this point, this is the point that I have. And this is the point that I have. Now, I have to join these points. Here it is. Then, this is the point that I, this is an angle that I'm talking about. Don't think about this angle. I am talking about this angle. Why so? Because I, can, I have counted from here to this point. Not from here to this point. So, this is the 50 degree. So, that's how we measure an angle. Now, measuring an angle, first of all, draw a straight line. After you have drawn a straight line, then you choose the vertex point. Then, line you are protector on that line. By following the principle that the point of intersection of the lines which are found in the protractor lies on the same point that you have chosen at the vertex point. Then you start counting from zero to where you want to do. If now you're talking about 50 degrees, no problem. 
If now you're talking about 10th degree, no problem. If now you're talking about 30th degree, no problem. So that's how you measure an angle. Now, measuring an angle, you should have the protector. And you should have the ruler. In the absence of the ruler, nothing you, have, you can do. In the absence of the protector, nothing you can do. Why so? Because we need a straight line. We don't draw the hand line. Free hand line is not allowed in drawing the angle. So many of you. Contiere a point of the I'm starting left, I'm starting in your office. Ukshachola mstari mnyofu, ndipo sasa, utaka kwa amua. Kwa amba, niwetu wa kwa point of buckets. Halafu, baada ya kwa amua, niwetu wa point of buckets. Kwa hindi point of intersection, wene protracta hiko pia. Unaiweka pale pale, then exactly hakikisha kwa amba, mstari huu. Wa kwenye protracta, uko sawa na mstari wako nionyoka. And your man is weak, sana, kutumia transparent ruler when drawing. Very important for you to use the transparent ruler and protractor. Because the transparent ruler and protractor will show you whether you are on the straight line or you are not on the straight line. Have I made myself clear? Yes. Are we together? Yes. Imagine now this is all about 180. Think about more than 180. Think about 220. 200 and what? 220. How do we form an angle with 220? How can we form an angle which is more than 180? This is 180, is it so? Yes. But you want 220. How is it formed? This is 220. 220. So you draw your line. You do the same same thing. Draw a straight line. Draw a straight what? Line. Imagine this is my straight line. And I have chosen this to be my vertex. Then, first of all, I have to know from here up to here is 180. 100 and what? This is simple, very simple. It is right here. From here up to here is 180. So I have already 180 degrees from this one. Then take this one. Take 220 minus 180. Then you have zero, then you have what? 40 degree. So, from here, you have to increase, to, 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 to add 40 degree from here. Going this way, add 40 degree. So, now, this is the way. There are two alternatives that you can do. Then, turn around your protractor. You got it? Before it was in this way. You understand? We have mentioned already 180. You understand? The first alternative way, turn around your protractor. Then put this way. Before, it was this way. Now, turn around this way and put on the same, same point. You understand? Then, don't count here. You may count here, no problem so far. I'm sorry. Or you may count here. But remember, you only had what? False. Then, from here, false. Is definitely here. Do you understand? So before it was in this way. Then I said turn around this way. Before it was in this way. Now again this way. 
so as you may count from here up to here. Then join that line. Join these points. This is the point. You join it from here. From the vertex to where the point is. Then, because we are not talking about 180, this is no longer there. Now, this is what we are talking about, 220 degrees. Are you ready? Yeah. Imagine now for 260 degrees. So, first of all, take 180 out. Then you have zero. Then you have what? 16 minus 80? Eight. 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 Then, if now this is a straight line, if now this is a straight line, this is my straight line. Then, let me choose the vertex point. Let me decide this is the vertex point. Then, this is already 180. Then I should turn around it, like this one. So as I may add 80 degree. So as I may add 80 degree. This is the way I do it. From here, that right here. So this is the vertex. They enjoy that line. Do you understand? Yes. Now we don't need this line. Now this is our angle. It is the 260 degree. So this is 260 degrees. This is what I'm saying. It is 220 degrees. So this is how we measure an angle. So measuring of an angle is done in this way. Making sure that you have drawn a straight line, you have chosen something which is called point of vertex. Then if now the angle is greater than one, is greater than 180. Make sure that you you take the difference between one eight and that angle that has been given. So as you may know, what is an extra angle after 180? So you rotate, you are protractor. You understand? So that is how we measure an angle. Have I made myself clear? Yes. 